All right, man. Listen, man. Listen, man. We back today. I'm saying doing something different, something innovative, something a little, you know what I'm saying? Spicy. You feel me? So y'all know that I love doing collabs. That's my thing, bro. I love doing collabs. I try to bring the One Piece community together as much as possible. That's something I always do. So I'm starting this new one on one, you know what I'm saying? Interview type thing on the channel. I'm not going to just be doing, you know, the bigger content creators, though. I'm going to try to get some on here. There's a few in the works, you know what I'm saying? But I want to also, you know, talk to some of the smaller creators too, get people a time to shine. You know, it's not always about views and clout. So, you know what I'm saying? Without further ado, man, you know, I had to have my first guest, the GOAT. You know what I'm saying? Big Vor, you know what I'm saying? Vori, what's up, bro? How you feeling, yeah, man? Oh, I appreciate you having me on, man. You know, feeling great today. How you feeling, bro? Feeling great, man. Feeling spectacular. Mm -hmm. Ready to talk about some One oh, Piece. Dude. Get to know you a little bit better as a content creator and things like that. Give the people an opportunity and? to see what you bring into the, to the field as far as, you know, your One Piece knowledge and things like that. Each one of these interviews are going to have a overall topic, a theme. You know for algorithm purposes today we're going to be <laughs> talking about awakenings specifically luffy's awakening but awakenings in general devil fruits in general because i feel like you know sometimes devil fruits can be a little slept on um and in this arc so far we've seen two awakenings from lawn kid you know what i'm saying they were they were fire you know what i'm saying my man kid out here shocking the world doing something besides metal with the rail gun finally i'm saying diet magneto in the building we got a law out here with the deepest bag in the world outside of outside of big mom thanks bag, yeah, is, bag is extensive nigga can do anything in his room you feel me oh, God. um so first and foremost though before we get into you know all of this if you like this video make sure you leave a like if you want more content like this make sure you subscribe turn on your post notifications let's get straight into it so vor my first question for you Sir. Opening question. What is your favorite food? <laughs> My favorite food? Jesus Christ. I, that was a curveball. I thought it would be. Okay, okay, hold on. I gotta think about this. Yo, no, I feel like nothing beats either good wings or 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 a good cheesesteak. But okay. if if I'm choosing like anything accessible, since it's mm -hmm. really expensive, I I I would go sushi. Sushi mm -hmm. meant his. I, I recently okay. I recently uh, had something other than a California roll like a month or two ago, and it, yo, it's amazing. Okay, okay. Oh my God. It was like opening my eyes for the first time. <laughs> All right, cool. So I asked you that question, what's your favorite food to correlate it to today's video? Because we're going to talking and be talking about a food. Mm, devil okay. fruits. Devil fruits. Mm -hmm. So we know devil fruits are gross. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but they do give cool powers. So my, my first, you know, actual question, you know, that was the warm up. This is the first one piece question is how do you feel about devil fruits and one piece as far as power is concerned? Do you think that they are as viable as hockey? Or do you think that there's just so much of like a randomness to it that they're not as viable? What's your thoughts on devil fruits, bro? Okay. I would say in general they may not be you know as viable and maybe not even maybe at the highest level it depends on the person obviously but i feel like devil fruits were so broken uh before how he was introduced like as a fully fleshed out concept that like they it just had to be a thing i, I couldn't imagine a world where logies exists where you know um like uh hockey doesn't exist and everything so i feel like hmm Certain devil fruits are broken, at, at, yo, as who knows what. But like, I feel like hockey is also a necessary evil, and also maybe has a higher ceiling in terms of like the the general, you know, uh, concept of both of them. Because uh, Kaido was talking about how only the strongest have this, and then Rayleigh was talking about how only the the mightiest are gonna have seen to the future or whatever. So yeah, I feel like that's my stance on it. Got you, got you. I've always felt like devil fruits were a pre-time skip thing. And the mm. more that we got into the post-time skip and the more that Oda explored with hockey, it, they kind of overshadowed devil fruits in a way. However, yeah, exactly. I think in Wano, we're starting to see that devil fruits can be 
something that's as viable uh Thanks. and i bring that up because we've seen this fight with big mom kid in law and big mom does her thing against kid in law she ends up losing you know uh do i think that they're you know stronger than her physically of course not they 2 v one her but they did defeat her with devil fruits awakenings and big yeah. mom had not used her advanced conquerors hockey at all so i want to ask you vor how do you feel about that do you think that this was oda's way of saying you know you can be a top tier and combat a top tier without the use of advanced conquerors hockey look at this dude. or do you think that it was a or do you think that it was a slight uh bad ready a, a slight a slight bad thing narratively that big mom didn't yeah. use her 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 conquerors hockey because for me i'll answer like my, my my side of things first yeah for me i felt like it was a misuse of her power i feel like it would have meant more if they defeated big mom when she was using her conquerors hockey as well especially with how much they you know hyped conquerors hockey up with kaido making his statements about it mm -hmm. but also i feel like if she did use her advanced conquerors and they defeated her you know in conjunction with her devil fruit people would have been confused by it and been like okay well is advanced conquerors not as strong as what we thought so what, what's your thoughts on that yeah i i, I kind of agree on both sides because like i do think it might have been oda like showcasing to us that like it, it can be a viable option to actually like fight people on that level but also it just kind of felt a little awkward like there's no reason not to use it you know like it, it feels i don't know if it's like awkward or something like that but it definitely felt a little, little, little like like a misuse like you were saying um especially with someone that like uses it on someone as weak as page one but i guess she was kind of like oh like um mad or whatever because of tama thing but like i don't know are we saying that's really uh, a good enough of an excuse for for you know her not using it on law especially when like she <laughs> she kind of was playing around with him and then like she had the chance to to be serious but i guess it's a you know it, it's older story so i won't no nah, no nah, i'm gonna I'm cl complain just a little bit <laughs> nah, but uh yeah i definitely think it was it was a little bit on both sides i would have liked to seen her to fight with the advanced conquerors though i would have as well i will say this there was a time where big mom had law and she was on top of him yeah if she used her advanced conquerors then she would have killed law yeah same thing with kid remember like he just, he just I, hit him with like I, a blood just, sword and, and for and for that reason it, it bothers me because yeah. i really feel like if big mom had she had them in a vulnerable situation multiple times where if she just coated her fist in her her advanced conquerors hockey and attacked them they would have died yeah. she could have just killed them so i don't i don't for me i feel like that goes into big mom's character though which is why i don't have as much of a problem with it because exactly. big mom is just an incompetent person like and it's not that she isn't intelligent yeah. you know i feel like big mom is an intelligent person i feel like it's just more of her mindset is she's just her competency especially when it comes to combat is very childlike yeah, exactly. her personality is very childlike she like her kids take care of her for god's sake you know so it's like yep. i just feel like it's not that big mom didn't have the ability to defeat kid in law if she used her conqueror's hockey i just feel like she was like you said toying with them not yeah. going all out things like that um but <laughs> i but i but i do think moving into the next topic that it also goes to show again that oda's trying to show us that look top tiers can not have advanced conquerors hockey and still compete yeah. and i feel like that's gonna be i feel like that's gonna be important like like do, do you think um this is this is similar but do you think he's kind of warming it, it was this thought i just kind of like sparked in my mind but do you think he's kind of warming us up to the blackbeard yeah i i yeah i think that's what it is bro people will like get mad and be like no there's no way blackbeard doesn't have conquerors hockey there's no way blah 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 like there's no way but there is a way bro it's a possibility that blackbeard is going to be a devil fruit base fighter exactly. and that he's not going to be 
uh like a hockey based fighter yep. like that is a possibility people got to prepare for that i think what's more likely though than that is some of the admirals aren't going to have conquerors hockey i think akainu might be the only one that does there mm. to me there's a possibility that other admirals because people just assume that oh the admirals have to have conquerors hockey and i think that that's just silly bro i there's been no sign of it i think the only one that like would make sense to me so far is like akainu you can make an argument for aokiji just because they had the whole fight against each other for fleet yeah. commander like that like or i'm sorry for not fleet commander fleet admiral but mm -hmm. for me i think the only one that i'm like 100 percent sure about is akainu bro yeah yeah i like I, yeah I, i've been kind of torn about that like i i, I don't really i've i've bounced so much back and forth with them having it and them not having it that i've kind of just set it set it on like oh well that, i don't know <laughs> I, I was like because like on one hand like yeah they could have it but on the other hand i also think it would be very cool for like so you know how um the whole punk hazard the climate change and everything yeah it would be really cool if like that was their version of a conqueror's clash you know where like they clash oh the, man that'd be fire the, they clash their two respective powers and then everything around them you know kind of warps just like conqueror's hockey and then like things change you know and then things get destroyed or whatever and then like i don't know I, i'd be kind of cool but like I'm, I'm i don't really care like if they have it or not i don't think like to me the the more important thing is, is conqueror's coding you know like i don't yeah. i'm not really torn i'm not really like crazy on them having like conquerors in general it doesn't really change much to me it's still like in terms of base hockey conquer is really the the, the weakest one like it doesn't yeah. have m many cr I, crazy uses i also it's feel like a lot of times uh fans of of one piece like they just give people power they give people powers that we don't even know exist just due to the fact that they want that person to have it like it's it's never like people a lot of times people don't like there's no evidence of like certain people having certain things but i feel like people just want those characters to have those powers so much that they just give it to them yeah yeah exactly like it's more of an agenda thing or more of a like oh i just think it would be cool for this character to have this so i'm just going to give it to him even though there's like been no evidence or sign that it's there at all yeah exactly like if, I, if you're going to give somebody a palette at least have a reason for it like at least only like, like even if it is gender don't like either admit it or like put on some yeah, good bro. cap i would be <laughs> i would be fine if people were just like bro i just want them to have it because it's cool like i think it would be cool for him to have it like I feel like a lot of times people just say stuff because they just they just think it like it just I, I, yeah, I, exactly. one th the thing that like people say to me say to me a lot though when I talk to them about stuff is like they'll be like uh well it just doesn't make sense for him not to have it or it doesn't make sense for him not to do this and I ask them why you're like uh uh, uh. <laughs> and, and, and then they don't have a reason yeah exactly. I'm like well why why won't it make sense <laughs> and, like, like, uh, and then they just don't. Have, and then they just don't have a reason. Yeah. Moving past the whole conquerors hockey thing, uh, I, I kind of brought that up to segue into the awakening conversation. Um, how do you feel about Kid and Law's awakening? Like, did you like that? Did you like it? What was your mindset when you seen it? Did you have any questions about it? Things like that. I feel like I kind of had a, a good grip on like uh, oh well a good grasp on how it worked it, about to I say, guess you got to change that word grip yeah, is got, crazy. <laughs> grip is crazy there's not even the right word in general <laughs> <laughs> um but um i know sorry i know a lot of people had like questions about like you know whether it was like an ask for or not but i didn't really like mind it too much even though i know a lot of people did but it definitely is a little weird that like just kind of popped up a little bit we don't know when he you know like it, it would have just been cool if he gave a little just quick one one panel or one like speech bubble of like oh he had a, like or this is when i unlocked it or whatever but in terms of like i guess who is a candidate or like who has the requirements to like actually awaken in my mind i always thought law was very close to it or like because like not only is he great with his devil fruit but he's great with the thing that his devil devil fruit requires which is being a doctor so i always thought he would have awakened it but like it seemed like he already had it had it so it was like it was kind of questionable in my mind 
but uh yeah. in terms of in terms of like law kids, always law always seemed awakened to me bro like just be just yeah. due to the fact of all the stuff he can do bro exactly my and in thing, terms that he can do even more <laughs> my thing i'm excited to hear what you got to what you think about kids awakening because i honestly had no idea like what his awakening would be like i, I just couldn't think of it because i'm like okay he he retracts and pulls metal and stuff like what could his yeah. awakening be like i did not think that he was about to like make things magnets like i, I just didn't Bro. i just did not think that was about to be the thing like i don't know what did you think yeah i, I, I was confused i was back confused because i always thought he had like a, a metal fruit and th doesn't he only have like a magnet fruit yeah it's a magnet I, I fruit, always, which is why he can like, I, I, manipulate oh, yeah. the metal. yeah i always thought it was just met like he had just had a metal fruit where he could just like manipulate nah. metal but it's, it's a magnet i was mad so confused. I I was like, oh. fruit. but i didn't think he was going to turn things into metal though yeah, like, or turn exactly. things into, uh, not metal but turn things into magnets i just didn't know that that was going to be the thing yeah exactly um like i guess if you like use um like you can still me right yeah my screen just turned black i don't know oh, oh, but i was saying like I guess like from like Dofi and, and Katakuri's one, like you could like kind of infer that it would be something similar to like relating his uh, like substance or whatever he uses in his devil fruit to others. But like I would have never thought he could have like touched people and then them get turned into the magnet. That's a very interesting concept. Yeah. Nah, it um, was just crazy. The stuff that he was doing with it was pretty cool though. The Big Mom and Loft and kid fight is probably my favorite fight so far like as far as yeah, the definitely. choreography the powers being used things like that mostly because of law and big mom like no if i was going to say no offense to kid but like bro at this point bro i have a vendetta against kid i just don't care about kid fuck kid bro like that's just kind of how i feel about <laughs> kid bro bro like I, I honestly bro like the stuff that people be saying about kid bro disgust me sometimes bro like and I, and I and i know give my me, kid, give me some I, examples um, <laughs> what are you saying? uh like j the fact like he's gonna fight kaido like he, <laughs> he's gonna he's gonna get up and go fight kaido like that is the stupidest shit ever like he he's gonna like like bro like in what in what world can someone that had the 2v1 big mom that's fucked up right now get back up go to the roof and fight kaido and what, yeah. in, what in what world i i believe in zkk more than i believe in kai and fucking kid doing it bro i, I like I, i'm gonna be honest bro, be crying, bro. hey it's, we gotta have a dialogue it's a, it's, a fact, it's a fact bro like in what world is somebody that had to 2v1 a yonko that's that's like on death's door right now they're both down for the count right now their energy is depleted yeah. it's getting back up and then going to the roof and doing anything against kaido and what world yeah. does that make sense exactly it, like that just doesn't it, make it doesn't make sense especially when you think about it like those two literally use like 12 last resort they were like oh this is my final attack this is my final I'm attack this is my final attack this is my final I'm attack this, bro. like bro Bam it bro Yo, yeah, but yeah, I feel like yeah, they, they definitely not. Am I hating I, on kid? Yeah, I am. I don't care. Fuck that nigga, bro. Like it is what it is, bro. Like I, I just am not interested in kid. It's not even like I hate kid. I just don't care about kid, bro. Like I honestly, I've, I've, I just don't care about him. I've never cared about him. Like, like the the parallels that they be trying to push with him and Luffy, they're just, they're just. I'm just not interested in it. And and I feel like I feel like that about a lot of characters. I feel like that about dragon i feel like that about um uh, what's the other one uh emu i just don't care bro i don't care yet because they're just not relevant characters really to me like i like the same way i feel about how like dragon and emu like i don't know anything about them i don't see them it's how i feel about kid because oda has done no job trying to make us feel any type of emotional connection really to kid i feel more emotionally connected to killer than kid bro and it's because right. I don't I don't know about anything about kids backstory. I don't know right. anything about who where kids from about anything like I don't know anything about them. And like right. the reason why I don't have this issue with law is because we got all of Dressarosa, bro. Dressarosa. We got all of Dressarosa, bro. Learning about kid or learning about law, Dolph oh, Lamego, yeah. Don Quixote Cortison. We learned about all of that stuff, bro. We got the we got a whole we got so much from law. We don't have nothing like that for kid bro so it's like i want to care about kid but oda's not making me care exactly bro it, it was crazy because like with, with killer you had the whole plot line of him like literally slaving for roshi to like 
for a kid not to be like killed in, in uh udon and they're like kid is nothing you don't have no emotion with him for me personally like i don't know like you have a whole plot line with, with killer you have like at least a little bit you know you have like he was tortured some in some way his left arm is all messed up now like and he he had to like <clears throat> go out and be uh what was he uh, i forgot what his name was it was like the night i don't know if it, he, he whatever he was when he was uh kamazo like he had to do that for like for orochi and everything and it's like that alone is more interesting than, than just ki kid fighting kaido and big mom and everything it's like it, it's like killer got fights and emotional death and and character development and character moments and you know he's fleshed out a little uh, j at least a little bit but like exactly, kid is, it's only fights <laughs> that's it's just my problem fights, bro it, it's literally it's the same it's the same and i know that you're going to disagree with this because uh, of of how 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 you like this character a lot that i'm about to bring up but it's the same way i felt about zoro for a long time <laughs> yeah like i i did not care that much about zoro for a long time as far as characters went like as far as Zoro just being cool, being strong, being a uh, you feel me and, and and filling up what I wanted as far as like pause that was crazy. As far as I wanted for like being a me head, perfectly fine, bro. I love Zoro, but for like character wise for a while, bro, I didn't like since pre time skip. Like he had some moments pre time skip, but post time skip, I just was like. Right. he was kind of taking a back burner for me right. as far as characters go i felt the same way about robin for a long time now yeah, we're yeah. starting to get more stuff with zoro we're having this grim reaper stuff happen we had the like shimotsuki stuff with the with the blacksmith and like all of this like you know the 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 sunacha stuff like all this stuff about zoro's like lineage is subtly being dropped now yeah. so it's kind of cool i'm like starting to be more interested in zoro again and i that's kind of what i want for kid bro can we get something like that for kid like oh the please yeah. i don't want to i don't want to not care about kid but i don't want to like see kid and like see him do cool stuff against big mom with law and then still be like man i still don't care about him exactly you know what and I mean? like, like i feel like I, I feel like kid is too much of a relevant character for me to not know shit about him right exactly and like such a big part in this war as well the current arc the, the one of the biggest arcs and like the biggest art in terms of like chapters in the series like he's one of the biggest parts of it exactly. um but i can't even say i disagree with you because like i i felt that way to, for like Lu or zoro for a, a while like in terms of like yeah. what his character was given for a certain amount of point yeah i, I can't even say i blame you for that for i'm not gonna lie <laughs> it's like, but bro, like it's like bro at least bro at least zoro is like a cool character like he has cool attacks and stuff yeah exactly you know what i mean like at least Zoro had that going for him when he didn't have like a lot of the character moments. I can't even I can't yeah. say that for kid, bro. Like kid's bag was not that attractive, bro. It was just a lot of metal yeah, exactly. stuff. You know what I'm saying? If I saw one more punk Gibson or punk rotten, I was gonna lose it, bro. Like <laughs> I was just getting tired of it. But um enough, enough about, you know, kid and his bag and stuff like that. Um uh, we talked about their awakenings i want to move into like the the final portion of this video um and mm -hmm. talk about you know the the main topic the the main yes, gonna you know what i'm saying big luffy big luffy loops you know what i'm saying so in this recent chapter 1041 uh the gore say changes their objective to killing luffy stopping luffy uh the chapter previous or it was either one 1038 or uh, 1037 38 or 39 was one of them um i'm not sure 100 percent. don't really care but um the gorse were having a discussion with themselves about a devil fruit that hadn't awakened in so long like it had it had been years and years since this devil fruit awakened and a lot of people were speculating like what were they talking about are they talking about one of like kid or law's awakenings or are they talking about zunisha because zunisha was like in the pain or after or are they talking about luffy i have changed my perspective 100 percent to them talking about luffy now just due to the fact that after they had this conversation they bring up they change their objective to luffy and then they when you know the reason that they give is the you know how monumental this fight between him and kaido is my mindset is that they want to stop luffy before he has a chance to realize what kind of power he truly has um and they're trying to just get rid of him now because they th i think that his fruit has awakened and he doesn't realize it yet yeah. so 
I think they're trying to like stop him before he does because he th there's something special about his fruit in my opinion but that's just that's just my thoughts on it so far just due to how things are unfolding what what are your thoughts on luffy his devil fruit in general and his awakening in general before you know you give me your thoughts on the gorse stuff like do you think because i've heard so many different things some people think that his fruit's always been awakened and that's just what the gears are some people yeah. feel like you know awakening is incoming some people feel like they're not talking about luffy's fruit so what, what's your mindset on, on luffy and okay in, uh, in terms of like his 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 devil fruit awakening like specifically i don't think it's awakened i don't think the gears are, are awakenings because i feel like we would have had a mention of that way longer because like he he beat so many people with his gears or maybe it was a specific like maybe if it, I imagine if it was like snake man or something like that that and that's why we're only just getting mention of it but like if it's just the gears i i don't know how i feel about that because like that would have been mentioned of it i feel like at least and uh what his awakening actually is jesus um i mean like the whole like i like if, if we're just going by like basic like um like uh like the, the the pattern of it i don't like i don't like going by patterns a lot but like you can put your stuff substance all the other people i guess like it's kind of like that but like his paramecia isn't really same as others like if it affects his body whereas other paramecias like affect other things or like you can uh you can like control something or something like that but dang i never actually like thought about mm -hmm. um like what it actually was I, i'm not a big huge fan of like the what is rubber world like is that like making it like what i said making everything yeah, rubber rubber world is like the concept that uh, based off of what Dolph Flamingo said mm -hmm. about paramecia awakenings and that he can just like make the environment around him rubber i think that's just super like unuseful yeah like who because who gives a fuck like what are you going to make bounce houses for people to like to soften the blow after you hit them like what are you what are you doing exactly to me it's that's kind of just, it's just stupid to me i don't like that idea the reason why like another reason why i think they're pushing this whole luffy's fruit being special thing is just based on the random lore we got with sun god nika and in the same episode having the information given to us that the gum gum fruit got stolen by shanks so it's like i just feel like combining that with their new objective combining that with their conversation about a fruit awaken being awakened it's either a really like drawn out red herring that oda's making so we think it's luffy and it's not uh yeah. or it's the obvious thing and it's luffy uh, i don't yeah. know why luffy's fruit special i don't know why they're trying to make it special if they are exactly. doing it but i i think that just based on everything we've seen it's either it's either or it's either a really f really long drawn out red herring by oda he's trying to throw us for a loop or it's just yeah. luffy um a lot of people don't want it to be luffy uh, I, what's your mindset on that like it, it because uh people will say things like uh they don't want luffy's fruit to be like special they don't want him to have like some sort of special thing they like the idea that his fruit was just a, a basic fruit that he like learned how to make good himself so wh what is your like mindset on that like do you, would you care if it is ends up being luffy do you not care like what's your thoughts for, for me personally like if i was right now i obviously I, like i wouldn't have have it be luffy because like i don't know i feel like he's good he's good with the gears but like um i guess it would also depend what the actual awakening is but like the way they're talking about it it seems like it's, it's something crazy or something like over the top or whatever so if it is luffy i don't know I would feel a little bit conflicted, like, but I guess it's all, like, in the writing, I guess, but, like, if, uh, uh, it's just a little weird that, like, Luffy has never, like, been a special person until, like, I guess, post-time skit when the whole privacy stuff started coming on, you know, like, like, getting implemented heavy, but, so I guess it would maybe excuse it a little bit if he did, like, have, have this, like, crazy overpower, like, hidden ability that nobody had but like i, I don't know I, I would feel a little conflicted i, I would have like a little a, just a little side eye but i do agree with you that it, it's looking like it's luffy so i don't know what to expect from it honestly yeah for sure um and you're you know we'll, we'll do this in closing like and you're like most i guess unbiased way 
Yeah. How would you like this whole uh, thing to play out? This Luffy versus Kaido, um, things like that. Like, as far as who the Gorse is talking about, if they are talking about Luffy, if if they aren't, like all of that together, in in your own perfect way, like how would things end here? Uh, if, if I could make anything happen, <laughs> if you can make anything happen, how how would you make it happen? Aye, aye, boom. So. <laughs> Oh, this is actually a really deep question that I didn't think about. Because, like, obviously, you know that, I, like, you know I believe in the whole Zoro thing. But, like, I never really thought about how we would get to that point. Um, uh, so, I, I guess, like, they will continue to fight. Uh, and CP0 said, like, well, I don't know if they did, but it's looking like they're probably going to try, even if they're, like, choking up or whatever, they're going to try to, like, do something with Luffy, maybe. So, maybe something happens with that. I it, it so it would be a really interesting thing, right? So say if Sanji and it is it's a really weird thought, right? <laughs> Sanji and Zoro get back up, right? Or, or whatever happens. They go they go up there, right? <laughs> and Sanji fights the CP0 member uh, member if he does go back up there and then you know Zoro will help uh, Luffy. Th that that's my thing, but like I know a lot of people are going to be like, oh, you're just, you're just a, a Zoro stand, but like, I don't, I don't, okay, how do I put this? I don't think that way because I do like, uh, do like Zoro a lot. I like Zoro a lot and I just think it's going to like, I, I think that's how it's going to play out, you know? Yeah. But, uh, regardless, I think Zoro is getting up and he might have it on his mind, um, whether Look he goes there dude. or he doesn't, you know, it's up to Oda or whatever, but I think maybe there might be another power up in luffy maybe he uh he gets you know overpowered a little bit maybe he feels like he needs it to uh to overpower him because luffy said that did he say that kyle's hockey is also getting um uh stronger as well yeah i i think he was saying uh yeah he said he's he just his, using he's, more of it is he hockey blooming or is he using more of it I don't know the 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 translations are so weird. It, it looked like he was saying his hockey's in, increasing. I don't know if he meant he was just using more hockey or if his hockey was getting stronger. I have no idea, bro. The translations are so weird, bro. Like the Viz will say one thing, TCB will say another. Yeah, so like I'm not, exactly. I'm not really sure how to like take it. I would just think that he's yeah. using more of it. Right, right. If if okay, so it, it, either way, I guess right if if he is hockey blowing or if, if he is using, using more it's looking like he's like i, I wouldn't say comfortable against luffy because he's like he has the the they're going back and forth but i feel like he has he's more in the advantage than luffy is mm -hmm. in my opinion oh yeah for sure i mean so maybe a, there's a, that's a whole nother conversation to have like yeah definitely if, if like he, he his hockey can even bloom like people like we don't know if there's like caps on potential and like how how yeah, exactly. high hockey can grow we there, there's this, there's no indication of that we just we know that like there are like a lot of people who have seemed to hit their prime but it's like okay are they have they hit their prime because they've they stopped doing things have they hit yeah. their prime because they they're not challenging themselves anymore or like did they just hit their cap like and, and that's a that's a good question it's also like when did they hit their cap you know i don't i don't yeah, know exactly that's weird like i feel i i would agree that like i feel like at some point like your growth has to slow down yeah definitely. you know what i mean like you can't just like you get to a point where you're like you start to peak and that, that does make sense yeah. it, it's kind of like uh i wish we had like, more of an indication of of like exactly. when, when people peak like yeah. is it dependent is it for the same for everyone is it dependent on like them based on their race who, like you know is it dependent on them based on like where they're at currently you know there's just so many questions when it comes to to hockey right, exactly and, and stuff but i i would assume just based on how strong kaido is that he's peaked so like i would say he's probably just using more hockey not getting stronger hockey yeah yeah that, that's just that's it, how i look at it maybe uh, it, it could also be like like xp you're getting the same amount of xp but your your, your xp bar to level up is just so much higher so like he, he's he's had to fight you know uh, uh like <laughs> 20 people uh, as of right now just to get like a point point zero 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 five percent straight you know like it, it might yeah. be that or it could also be him just be using uh like more hockey or whatever but e either one of those though i feel like it like luffy could possibly like 
find out that's like he has to get stronger in some way maybe he uh the race definitely not failing i, I like that uh, like the thought of like luffy like lose, losing and getting knocked off the roof again or whatever <laughs> like yeah. popped in my head i was like nah that's, i play it's not like, he's definitely not getting knocked off uh um, I don't, yeah i don't think that he's like losing this fight even if he like loses th this portion or like yeah. whatever like i think ultimately he's going to defeat kaido like i still yeah. wholeheartedly believe that be just due to the narrative like because what's gonna like i don't understand there's just there's too much too much it's like too much going on i feel like for things to just end that way like there's exactly. still a lot of things unresolved <laughs> there's still like zoro stuff unresolved there's still the yeah. onigashima falling whole that whole thing is unresolved there's still the whole thing was unisha she hasn't even started attacking yet like there's just yeah, exactly. so much there's so much stuff left that like i'm just like mm, no exactly. I, I don't think that this is going to be like the end all be all regardless <laughs> of how things shape out thanks like like pete like is like I'm bringing this up because it's the only example I have of some like somebody doing something like post raid. But like Zoro said, he he post raid he wants to go back to Ryuma's grave. So you're telling me that in the shape he's in, right? He's finna he's finna chill for a little bit and then have to fight once again a whole nother raid. <laughs> like that doesn't even make no sense. Like he has yeah. to like and Luffy too. Like he said he wants to have um uh, uh, the biggest whatever in the world what he say or he, he said he wanted to have like a, a he huge wanted to have um, a celebration yeah celebration like it doesn't make any sense that he would like lose here like lose here and then have to fight again just for like and the crazy thing is right pe pe the whole people the, the whole thing with people saying the raid's failing right people say like oh like it, it's uh the, the stakes need to be high higher or whatever and then i'm like the, the stakes are too high to lose right now <laughs> <laughs> exactly like, if he loses right now like okay it would be cool if Kaido didn't want to literally destroy the entire fl flower capital yeah, i feel like them losing them losing and the raid failing is like certain death yeah so it's like exactly. i don't understand that whole argument of like there's no stakes like yeah if, exactly. they, if they if they lose in this raid people are people are going to die exactly so it's like I, I don't i don't understand that and I, and just based on that i just don't see it happening just yeah. based on like how one piece goes right exactly like, like <laughs> we just don't lose often and when we did yeah. lose it was pre-time skip and that was to lead into the fact that we needed to get stronger and the time skip happening yeah exactly the time skip happened because we weren't strong enough yep that was the whole thing we weren't strong enough we needed we had the time skip had to happen so this type of stuff doesn't happen anymore exactly like, and what, like what are we going to lose again and we need we need another time skip like right, exactly like like the whole sabote was just like okay is it like we were saying like we so we don't lose again so if we lose again when luffy is faced with his toughest challenge yet just like he was in pre-time skip there was no development what was the point of that like there's no point in having that if like he's not going to follow up on his word which like he's an mc who does that everything he says like he does so why would he not actually get stronger to protect his crew it doesn't make exactly. any sense the whole <laughs> point the whole point was so his crew could be protected which is why i feel like they re like they they, they re brought that up in curry with him thinking his crew got killed for a reason so he yep. could be he could understand once again what he needs to do who he mm -hmm. has to protect and now he's protecting them so if he doesn't protect them and he doesn't do what he said he was going to do if he doesn't follow through on it i exactly. feel like that's worse than the ray feeling exactly and another point is like i feel like oda loki knows about this theory because he put a crewmate robin in in danger like he put a scope on her like a magnifying glass on her the person who literally in zo was like i have fr i don't have to care about that uh nikomushi was like you know like once your name gets out there more people are going to try to hunt you which is happening right now and then robin was like oh and it doesn't matter i have friends that'll protect me <laughs> so like there is another reason not to lose this raid because if kaido wins then he, the first thing he will probably do is like okay I need to go get Robin so I can actually, you know, become the Pirate King or whatever. And then, like, then uh, there's another reason why, like, there's no development development in the Sabaody arc either. <laughs>
But like, bro, what, what's the point? Like, there's no point. It, like, I feel like the stakes are high enough. I know, I, like, could they be better? Like, that's another question. But like, they feel great to me. That they feel all right. Like, they're they're good enough. Exactly. I I agree 100. Like I said, Wano's not perfect. You know, we all have critiques of Wano. We all look at Wano and we're like, hey, I wish this happened instead or this happened instead. There are things like that that we feel. But I do agree that the way things are going, it just looks more like they're going to win. Yeah. And I think that, like you said, the stakes might not be as high as what everyone wants them to be. But I do think that they're good enough. Exactly. So I agree 100 percent. But hey, man, that's going to do it for this interview, this conversation. Yo, Big Vore, thank you for coming through, having this discussion with me about mm -hmm. Awakenings. Devil yes, Fruit Taki. Appreciate it, my God. Make sure that y'all look down in the description. Uh, Vore's link will be down there. Make sure you guys go, you know, subscribe to him. I'm going to leave his Twitch link as well. he be streaming and all that. So make sure y'all show him some love. Also, in the pinned comment will be links to all of my socials twitter you know what i'm saying my discord patreon my gaming channel things that you guys should be checking out so make sure you check those out as well and as always i hope you all are staying safe and healthy during these trying times this has been sensei inc and my nigga big vol and i'll see you all in the next video